We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 10, dry fly hook. This is the original 94833. We've got black 6 0 tying thread. So we'll just start here. This is the Parachute Royal Wolf. We'll go back to there. And we'll go over that again. And we just want to go forward to about there. I've got a good bunch of calf tail that I've stacked and cleaned several times. And this wants to be about as long as the hook shank. So we'll go around loosely first and tighten up upwards and we just secure that backwards. That's good. Go back. You don't want this spinning around the hook shank. So we go back to there and then we'll trim this off. At a taper. And what we do is we take a drop of varnish, just like that. Flatten my thread and then we'll go over here. One of those hairs that's too long. And to go over this like so and then we can go back up and then I'll just check that the wing's in the correct position I can go a little bit further forward with that and then we'll lift that up and we'll put a dam or a stopper with tying thread in front. That's good. Now we'll go around. Now what we do here is we go around a couple of times, two or three times, just to keep everything gathered. And you have to come around and lock it off around the hook shank. So we'll go back, another drop of varnish. And we just let this soak in at the bottom of the post. And then we can go up. To secure the post base for our hackle. That should do us, and then we go back down, and we can go back to here. And I've cleaned and stacked a bunch of natural bucktail. This is the original tail, and it was bucktail or deer hair. And this wants to be about the length of the hook shank again. It's rather long, so we just put this on top. And we go around, not tightly, just a couple, two or three, four times, just to hold it in position. And we just take that tail, it's a little bit too long. So I'll just reposition that. Much easier if you take your time and sort this out. And that will do us just perfectly. So now this book tail has to come from high up on the tail uh, that hair doesn't flare as much so if you take it from low down at the base of the tail you're going to get that tail flaring so we'll go back up now over the body securing the tail and evening the body out so when we get to there we'll lift all that tail Be careful we don't interfere with the wing now what we want to do, it's probably best if I turn that upside down, yeah. Take hold of this and I'll trim that off at 
an angle as well. It's very important, both with the calf and the bucktail, that you clean your material, get all the underfur out, all the short hairs. Some have cut a little too long there. I'll just go in and get rid of them. There we are. And we go over that. Perfect. I want to go back to the tail. What I'll do is there. So got some peacock curl, nice bushy curl. And we just tie this in at the tail base. And we've got a few turns forward. I'll put a hackle plier on that because I have much better control if I do. What we want is a nice bushy tag here. do us so I'll just wind my tying thread a couple of turns back swap that over now for a normal roll wolf what I'd do is I'd tie this hurl down over the where the silk body is going and continue with it afterwards but because it's a parachute I'll do it slightly different. Just turn that up there and remove that. Excellent. Then we move our tine thread. Oops, don't want to tie that down. Move our tine thread forward. To the post. So, I've prepared a hackle, nice coachman brown hackle, and I've stripped off a little bit more on one side. So, we want this to go in like this, and we tie this in with a, an X cross thread. And then we go up, over the stem and you see I've left a little bit of stem so I can control the direction of the hackle afterwards. But I can grow and chill it a little bit further up like that and then we'll come back down and we'll trim off that to the correct length so it doesn't come and interfere with the eye like so. And we can tie this up secure it and then go back here ready for the floss so because the length of red floss and I'll just straighten me thread out Attach that in there and secure it down. Let's have a look at this. And we can flatten our thread out by going over it, our floss, sorry, several times like this. And we can get the first turn in. Be careful that you don't catch the hook point with your floss, otherwise 
it will be over and out. I just have to lift my thread again. Flatten the floss. Go into the peacock hole. I'm touching the peacock hill now so I can go back up and get that up again. I've had some questions that instead of putting my thread up and down when I'm rotating the vice, why don't I use a bobbin holder? I find that when I'm tying doing videos the bobbin holder is here and uh, it gets in the way. That's the only reason. Uh, otherwise, I would use it. There we go. So I just get the last couple of turns in. And I can just go over here. I can return my thread. Swap those around. off remove that and then we just secure that floss correctly and we can take another nice bushy peacock hole Just tie that in there. Go forward, hackle plier. Good. Just wind this all the way forward. Alright, to the very last turn of hurl. And I can swap those around. Carefully remove that. Two or three turns, fold the hurl back, begin at the hook eye. finish remove that hole and we can come around clean up the head with another whip finish like so remove our tying thread and turn the fly around and get this this way and we reattach our tying thread to the post base and we go right down into the thorax with it and we can remove that just remove these calf tail fibers 
them out of the way so we don't tie them down. And then we can attach the hackle plier. down each turn tight into the previous like so I'll spin my thread, thread uh, clockwise just to give it a round profile make it shorter uh, smaller I can remove that now and I got underneath the hackle and again take our whip finisher The struggle is there. Let me just get rid of those. Good. Then we can get rid of the hackle. Take a, just a tiny drop of varnish in there on the tying thread. And another whip finish, tighten that up, remove our tying thread and we can swap this around. And then we have the finished parachute Royal Wolf. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and take a look at my website thefeatherbender.com. Thanks for watching.